sun a rise and shine Daylight's a burning, ain't got a lot of time When the day is over and the work's all done We'll sing and dance and have a little fun Good morning, Joey! Joey's not going to be very happy with us this morning, but it's going to be alright. Maybe you'll calm down. You set a little head shake. You're going to calm down and be nice. I just want to bolt out of here. Welcome to Highway Homestead. Today, Joey is going to get castrated. All right. Well, first of all, he is almost probably three months old now, so he's larger. Uh, I'm going to restrain him. I'm going to tie his head one direction, and I'm going to tie his two back feet apart and secure those so that I don't get kicked, hopefully. But that's why I'm dressed out like I am now to reduce the chance of getting hurt if I did get kicked. I don't usually layer up like this. All right, so Samuel has tied, he's just got like a rope that we've got there to lead and he's tied one leg just to that fence and then um, it's a cattle panel, or I mean a sheep and goat panel. Um, and then we've just got him hooked on the lead right here. So that he doesn't um, kick Samuel, because obviously he's gonna kick. He's he's nervous and not liking it, and he wants his mommy back this morning because he gets to go drink milk in a minute. Yeah, you get to go drink milk in a minute. Oh, daddy, don't climb over him. See, so you make me so nervous. It's okay, buddy. I know. I'm sorry. So sorry. Super boy. This is actually a really quick process once we get to the point. Like if this was a calf and he was just laying down a day old. He would already be done. This is very quick. It's just because he's older, we're having to restrain him so that well, he her. doesn't hurt us or Samuel. <laughs> Here's kind of our kit that we have. So this has my tattoo stuff for my goats, but these right here are the bands that we're going to use. So just this little bitty green rubber band is all it is. And this is the banding tool. And all we're gonna do, okay. So this, so we're just gonna stretch that little rubber band over top of those four metal prongs and this is just going to stretch that open so that we can stretch it around his testicles you want to make sure you get both testicles inside of the band so Absolutely. they both come off that's the most important thing is that you feel both testicles all right so you can see that samuel is stretching the rubber band and it's going to go over top of his testicles and it's just going to place it on it just like so well, right now i've only got one if i've got any testicle in there my grip. He's not going to like it. I'm going to make sure. Because he thinks he can kick it off. He's feeling it because he thinks he can kick it off. It is going to be uncomfortable for them. Did you get both? One, two. Back on my shoes. Alright, so you got both. So I got both of them up in there. Nice. So now, yep. Alright, Joey's castrated. So that, I mean, ish. Um, they'll fall off in probably about a about month. month. Yeah, probably about a month. And uh, so he'll be kicking around and probably laying down quite a bit today. That's what they do when you bend them. Yeah. Um, it's but, uncomfortable for them, but it's less invasive. We've done the other way too, where you scalpel and pull them out. And this is just easier and less invasive, especially when you have to worry about infection. All right, thanks so much for watching y'all. We really appreciate it and catch us on the next video. But this is how you would castrate an older calf. It's always happy now. He got him milky. Always put your babies back with their mamas, nurse when you get done.